What's up guys? Justin here with Four Lazy Jays again and I have an update on my truck. I missed last week we were out of town and I just didn't have time but I got my suspension on my truck before we went to the Overland Expo and uh, got some miles on it now and I want to tell you about that. So excuse how dirty everything is. Like I said I've been putting some miles on this but I have here the Thurin Fabrication Leveling Kit coil spring so there's no more shim up top and I also went with his overland shocks I'm not sure if it's uh, similar to the Bilstein or not but what a world of difference I can't rave enough about this this truck literally drives unbelievable now and uh, didn't I never knew how bad it was I knew it was rough you know it's a big truck but the improvements of this and I have more to go it's kind of a modular system you can upgrade it as you as you uh, see fit I have his torsion sway bar that I'm gonna put on soon and I'll give an update on that as well uh, one other little thing that I did was put the Fox steering stabilizer on there you can see back there Fox steering stabilizer along with the Thurin track bar to realign the front end I just took the specs of the alignment that Thurin sends to the alignment shop and this thing is a downright joy to drive now. It is uh, so smooth. It's unbelievable. I didn't go with the Kings yet. I may down the road, but uh, for now, I, I fell in love again with this truck after everything that I've done. It's probably my most favorite upgrade so far. I haven't done the back yet. I'm still unsure of what I want to go with because I still need to tow with this thing. I may put his coil spring on, although you, you do lose some capacity from what I understand. But I probably will at the very least upgrade to a better set of shocks on that. I installed this myself with uh, a big jack and some big jack stands. Just jacked it up and let the shocks and track bar and everything loose and the front end just laid right down on the ground. I had probably, it took me longer to jack it up and find a place to jack it up and get it all nice and set than what it did actually install the coil springs and the shocks. Looking this route, I wanted to do the Carly suspension, but it was just out of the budget along with everything else I wanted to do to the truck. And I heard good reviews about uh, Thurin Fabrication, so I decided to give it a shot and, and man am I glad I did. It's, uh, they say it's unbelievable. They say on the diesels it provides two and three quarter inch of lift. The front end is now a quarter inch taller than the back end when you measure the wheel wells. And I like that. Before the nose sat a little low and I like a good level look. And now it looks level. It probably sit nose high, except I have that heavy bumper and winch on the front end, so it kind of sagged it out a little bit. Realistically, I could probably clear 37s now. I may go to 37s down the road. I've shown so much love for my Patriot tires, but they don't make it in the size of wheels that I have, and I don't know that I want to buy another set of wheels. Anyways, here's a, a time lapse of me installing this. It was fun. Nothing really fought me. It was uh, a fun little task to do, and the handling and performance out of it are just far superior to what it came from from the factory.